Dr. Ben, yes, thank you, my campaign director, Mr. Langley, and thank you, Ms. Teresa. I am, I am happy and I am elated that Ward 3 has, uh, from the time that I was appointed to feel, fulfill um, honorable Lamont Wiggins' position and city council person, I've been honored to work with a great team, a great team of council, council people that, and, and our uh, city manager, uh, Rochelle Small Tony, that when I got there, uh, has done wonderful things. We've had a lot of interruptions, but we have never lost our focus. Mm -hmm. You know, the pandemic came, we kept focus. Yes. You know, we had an interrupted from a cyber attack, we stayed focused. Mm -hmm. You know, we had interruption from audit, but we stayed focused. Yes. You know, we had a lot of interruption, but we stayed focused on the concern and the service of the people. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that I represented Ward 3 and the concern of the people. And immediately, we saw some of the immediate needs and War Three, and that for the history of War Three, that we only had in most areas 80% homeowners, but 20% homeownership, 80% rental property, and what can you do with 20% equity in homeownership? Not a whole lot. Some of the areas only 3%, and 97% was still for the history of this area was still blighted property and the resources were going out of the community and out of its compound. Immediately, uh, the council initiative came out and we took the staff that we wanted to see community wealth building take place. You know, we wanted our community to know that you are in charge of your sustainability. And so we, we took community organizations that for that history had never had in their budget but $500 a year to work with. Mm. And you think about it, 93% mm. equity going out of community home ownership. Only 3% home ownership <coughs> and you only get $500 a year? Wow. Mm. Yeah. And, and people ask the question, why the communities in the in the shape they're in? Mm. So, we decided we wanted, and with the council support, our city manager support, we decided we would empower our community organizations. And that they would have the opportunities to turn the social dynamics of their community around. Not just home ownership, but a change in the social dynamics. Right? And so, since that time, we have put one million dollars into the management of our community organization. And that, and, and not only that, but we have attracted because, because other foundations have seen the community taking a lead. We've had four other foundations that come up and say, if the community is managing their resources, we want our money to go directly to where it's going to have the impact in our community. That's good. And now, our communities and the process and the way we're going, and that's why I, I'm seeking re-election, we got a lot of work to do. Yeah. In the next three years, these community organizations, as they continue to grow, they can have an access of $200,000 in their budget not not charity dollars. Wow. Hear me. These are not dollars that they gotta go beg for. Come on, this is earned income. That's good. Mm. Earned income is what give us a voice. Amen. So so this seat do not belong to Councilman Joyner. It belongs to Ward Three and the people of Ward Three. Our representative, Shelly Willingham, and others, our pastors and our community leaders, our businesses, we've all come together. Bank Street, that uh, Rocky Mount Public Housing, now we came in, put in water and sewer, now we can turn that area around. Let me
me tell you something. Keep watching War Three. Yeah. And, and the people of War Three is on the move. You cannot change your community about the event. You got to change your community about lifestyle. That's right. We are literally in with collaboration and thank you for being here tonight. You know, we are workers. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. We are workers. We are going to work community gardens. We are now, our community is fascinated with home ownership, fresh, affordable uh, vegetables. Uh, Robert, my good friend, Community Action, we have put substance abuse programs in our community. Not, not, from, not, not, not from a place of, of brutality, but from a place of therapeutic approach. Yeah. Yeah. You know, not punitive, but we want our people to know that families that are suffering and have challenges because of the culture of the community right. have not been conducive mm -hmm. for building healthy children. Mm -hmm. Because we didn't own it. Right? How can I manage something that I don't own? Mm -hmm. So, we are challenging and we are working code violation. Ward 3 will own their community. And so I'm excited about that. There's so much we're excited about, but what I'm really excited about is that the people have a voice. And they have a vote. And it is heard. And I'm thankful to be working with one of the greatest wards in this world. And other cities are asking about, what about this community wealth? What is it about? It is about people with a passion and a heart and the spirit of God that say, we will build a community where our children can play and be safe and grow up in an environment that they'll be healthy, where our seniors can retire, and as my preacher said, the glory of God can be revealed. Yeah. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited to holistically be a part. And our downtown and our community is merging together. You know, and I'm thankful that we are a team. And I'm telling you, a vote for Councilman Joyner is a vote for the sustainability of War Three. Thank you.